Well, hello, welcome back. Um, today I went out and got myself a set of short Gore-Tex Alpine Star gloves. Now, these ones here, got them in Infinity Motorcycles um, in Belfast. I know there are branches everywhere. Um, quite like these. Now, I'm not sure if you're the type of person um, about pinnacle over gloves. I have four pairs of different gloves. These gloves here, um, I decided to make a change to uh, my gloves, so I wanted a short glove, so my cuff of my jacket went over the top. Um, rather than I, my, some of my uh, gloves, they'll go right on up into the top, um, and I'm forever trying to pull them on. Everybody's on their bikes, gone. So with these here, um, got them today. They are quite snug when you put them on, but I have to say they are lovely. Um, this finger here, your is joined uh, with a leather strap. Well, uh, that breaks off after a length of time. I don't, don't honestly know, but they are lovely. They are slightly thicker. There was different gloves which I, when I, I tried on, uh, the gloves um, were a bit thinner, more like a summer glove. Uh, I wasn't particularly uh, keen on the summer glove. Now, so once they're on, the cuff. It's got the Gore-Tex on it here, um, and you've got your your strap strap on both sides. Where you go, it's got your knuckle uh, resistant. It's also got pads on the the hands here, as you can see. Um, uh, they are leather here. There's polyester lining in, in them, and there is, of course, there there there. As I said, they're Gore-Tex, so they shoot by right keep me dry on a wet day they say but uh, i'm sure some of the questions that uh, you would like to ask is um, uh, they're very soft it's obviously leather in the inside here um and then it's like a canvas that, that could be gore-tex i honestly don't know um i'm no expert on it. Uh, are they warm absolutely toasty as I said, I did try on other gloves. They were either longer up here. Sorry about that, it's my watch. Um, they are worth longer in the arm up this way. Um, but uh, I wanted something that's a small cuff. The other gloves that I tried on, there's another one very, very similar to this. Um, and when I tried it on, it was very thin and it just felt like a summer glove and that's not what I wanted. Even though it said it was Gore-Tex, I felt that during the cold winter, um, when I'm caught uh, in the cold, the fingers are biting, so I wanted a bit of protection. So these are definitely thicker. Um, they were thicker than the ones that I tried on, and I really like these. Um, these were, these are a medium. Um, so are they warm? Yeah, absolutely toasty. Uh, I really did like. Once I put them on, you get the heat it didn't take long for the heat uh, to build up in them were they too warm no um, especially when you're out on the bike your hands will be cold uh, so any heat that you can keep you can keep in your glove the better so the proof will really be in riding them in the wet um, which won't be too long before i'm doing that so keeping them sitting there so you can admire my my new gloves so i said yes they are warm uh are they waterproof hell yes um uh, and if your fingers do get wet i asked uh, infinity one of the guys in infinity i says uh, what happens if uh, i know the gore-tex but what happens if my fingers get wet he said bring them back they are gore-tex sort of tell me all about gore-tex and um if anything goes wrong, they bring them back and uh, obviously be sent off to have tested. So they are designed uh, to give optimum insulation and protection on a long or short haul. So uh, whether it's in the winter uh, or uh, even during the summer. So I, I would wear these because they're short. I'd wear these in the summer. We still get it cold here uh, in sort of Ireland. So anyway, that's their, their polar Gore-Tex. Now, 
from what I was able to see on the internet, some companies have stopped selling these. So whether they've just stopped making them or not, or whether they're old stock, I have no idea. Uh, but there is a dual cuff uh, closure, um, which uh, closes them all off and makes it quite nice. Um, they are a medium length glove. They are from Alpine Stars. Um, and there is the, the finger bridge, and it helps for uh, your finger when if you happen to come off being broken, as far as I know. They are durable leather and a textile construction, um, and there's a lot of uh, external stitching on it, but it's, it's very, very faint. You can not uh, you can really see the stitching on the inside, um, but uh, it doesn't stand out. It's not uh, coarse or anything like that there. Uh, there is an open cell foam layer to retain heat inside it, so they are toasty and probably will stay toasty. A lot of people have uh, Thinsulate uh, lining. Uh, you'll know what Thinsulate is. People run around with the, the hats on. So these are Thinsulate inside the gloves as well. They are 100% waterproof Gore-Tex structure um, and they are extremely breathable, so you're not going to sweat in them as well. So. 100% uh, excellent. Um, uh, there's not really much else I, I, I can say about them. Uh, I really love them and I can't wait to get out in the bag. Don't care why it rains or not because my fingers will be toasty. Thanks for watching. Um, finally, how much did the cost? Um, I went down to Infinity and they were a hundred and thirty nine. I think they were 139, 100 and, I think they were 139, but you can speak to them, they, they, they're 100, 129 maybe, not sure, I think it's on 129, 139, well worth the money.